The fundamental martial arts concept that we're working on this rotation is shifting. Everything we're doing in class is designed to help the students build this skill and hone this skill. Now, on this video, I'm going to discuss what shifting is, the benefits of it, and then two ways that you can practice it at home to develop the skill even further. Now, shifting does refer to the transfer of weight from one foot to the other in a martial arts sense. The easy way to demonstrate is if I'm in a reverse stance, 70% of my weight is on my right leg currently, and then if I shift my weight to my left leg, that is what we're calling a shift, the transfer of weight from one leg to the next. Now, this is the benefits of this is going to help us with power and balance. Um, if you've ever seen somebody kick a target and they get knocked backwards, it's because they haven't shifted enough weight onto their front leg before making contact with the target. So that's one of the benefits of it. So balance and power come hand in hand because if you lose balance, you're going to lose power. Uh, but that transfer of weight and energy is why a martial artist who is a smaller weighted person can punch a lot harder and hit a lot harder than somebody who is untrained who doesn't understand the concept of shifting. We see this skill of shifting transfer to other sports, a golf swing, uh, a swing of a baseball bat, softball bat, those types of things. Throwing a ball generally requires a shifting of weight from one foot to the next to develop power. So this is a key skill in all athletics. Students will earn their blue stripe in class when they demonstrate the appropriate level of shifting for their belt level in which class they're in. The Tigers class has a less stringent qualification to get your blue stripe on shifting than someone who's in this, the Samurai program. Our instructors know what those are. If you want to ask questions of our instructors to help your child further, please feel free to do so. The first way that we can practice the shifting skill is actually with a front kick uh, practice. Because the front kick is a great way to really hone in on how the shifting works. I can't throw a proper front kick unless I move my weight from one leg to the next. So if I'm standing in a position where 50% of my weight is on my right leg and 50% of the weight of my left is on my left leg, when I pick up my right leg, now my left leg is taking 100% of the weight. As I said earlier in the video though, if I was to kick a target and I don't shift enough, if I don't put my center of gravity over this foot, and I don't shift my center of gravity over the base foot, when I kick the target, I will be pushed back. I'm not even kicking hard, and you see how I get pushed back. So for me to be able to kick the target and not fall back, I need to drive my center of gravity over this foot. So we can simply start practicing that front kick at home, not kicking anything, but we want to have the student practice driving their foot out, and I'm not doing a super hard front kick with perfect form, I'm just getting used to moving my body over this lead leg, practicing this way. Do this a couple times. And then we're going to start throwing that same kick, except I'm going to leave my foot on the ground. Have the student practice leaving their foot on the ground. So I'm doing that front kick in my mind, but my foot is staying on the ground. And then all we have to do at that point is to tie this into a punch. We do that a couple times. We tie this into a punch. I do that front kick, and at the end, I throw my cross punch. I do my front kick, throw my cross punch. And that is a very simple way to start getting the, the feeling of how to shift properly in your punches. The first drill I had you practice is one that I developed myself. This drill is something that was taught to me by my instructors that greatly helped me understand how to shift and get power on my punches. It requires either a mark on the floor or even better yet, a mark on a mirror. So if you have a mirror at home you can use, that's great. So we're gonna pretend that the camera is the mirror. What I would do is I would get a piece of tape, masking tape, blue tape, what have you. I would get in my general fighting stance, all right, if I'm practicing this drill. And that tape would line up, I'd put that piece of tape right on my center line of my body. So the tape is there. Now I'm gonna be punching into that direction, but as I'm doing the punches, I would be looking at the mirror just like I'm looking at the camera now. And what I'm looking for is to throw my punch and make sure that my body goes beyond the tape. So if the tape is right in the center of this camera, as you can see, as you're watching the video, my body now goes past that line. And then when I'm done the punch, it returns. So I've now shifted. Now using the mirror is a lot better than using a piece of tape on the floor because if I'm using a tape on the floor, I can kind of cheat and break my, my posture, if you will, and still achieve the same result. But I notice if I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm using the mirror and I'm breaking my, if I'm getting my chest passed by breaking my posture, I'm gonna be able to see that much more, more clearly. So we're gonna practice, we have the piece of tape on the mirror, I throw my punch in that direction while keeping my eyes on the tape to make sure that I'm now moving my body past that line. And that is a very good way to get the feel of how to shift properly for power in your punches. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about shifting and working on those two different drills that you can do at home um, or even in karate class before class starts to practice on developing your shifting to be, be more powerful, be more dynamic, and make everything look nice and sharp.